Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the selenium interview questions. That is, what is stale element reference exception and how to handle it? Let me answer. So there is one situation or case where you will encounter this stale element reference exception. Okay. So let me explain that in detail. Stale element reference exception. Okay. I'm going to explain a particular case where you will encounter this stale element reference exception during selenium automation. That is, let's say there's a web page. Okay. On this web page, let's say there's a some text field or whatever the element. Okay. The some element is there in selenium automation. You created a web element for this. Okay. For this particular element, you created a web element. How? Like this. You created a web element like this. Web element, element, some ELE is equal to, then you have written the things like this driver dot find element by dot ID or X path or whatever it is, XYZ. Okay. For example, and put a semicolon. Okay. Now, when you are on the same page, okay, once you create this web element and store this uh, object of this web element in the variable of this web element interface, okay, after storing that, now you perform some operation like ELE dot send keys, let's say, okay, and you type my name, let's say Arun name into that particular text field, okay, into this uh, text field for which you created the web element here, you type my name, that will work here, Arun text will be typed, no problem, okay, everything was working fine until you navigate away from the page. Now there is a link on this page. There is one hyperlink and after performing this operation, like after entering my name into the text field, after everything was working fine, then you clicked on this particular link and this link has taken you to another page. Okay. It has navigated away to another page. This is a different page. This page is another page. This is another page. There are two different pages. Now you went to the page and after a while you came back. Okay. After doing some activity here, you came back. Now, once you come back to the original page here, now if you say ELE dot, let's say clear another command clear, whatever the text you typed, I want to clear it out. But here there is going to be a stale element reference exception. Here is a place where you will get the exception. Why you will get the exception here? The same element, right? Already you created a web element. So the connection between this driver dot find element and this variable and web element will be broken. Once you navigate away from the page and come back to the page. Okay. Once you go out of this page, immediately the connection between these two things, this part and this part will be broken down. So ELE is no more recognized. Okay. After you come back and if you try to clear this particular text from this page, this is not going to work out because the connection between this part and this part is gone. Once you navigate away from the page, this one, case where you will get this tail element uh, reference exception. Let me practically demonstrate this one for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where we have some Selenium automation code already written for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser. And here we need to open the application URL. Let me open this uh, application URL, say omai.blogspot.com. Copy this and uh, paste it here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a web element for this text area field. I would like to type my name into the text area field. Right click inspect. This text area field, this is the HTML code of the text area field. It has an ID. I'll use ID locator and simply write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Okay. And uh, put a semicolon here and create a web element. That is what is the web element is? Uh, let's say text uh, area field. I'm just giving the name as a text area field as a name for the web element over the mouth and say create. Then I'll simply say text area field dot send keys. This will work. Okay. So this will work. Text area field dot send keys. I'll give my name Arun Motori. The text will, my name will be entered into the text area field. Okay. My name will be like this will be entered into the text area field. After that, I'll do one thing. I'll click on this link. Okay. To navigate away from this page to another page, different page, I'll, I would like to click on this link. I'll use a link text here. So I'll simply say driver dot find element by dot uh, link text. Okay. And give the link text and say dot click. So once I say link text dot click, what will happen? 
it will click on this link and you will be taken to another page. Now I would like to click on browser back button. Okay. I would like to click on this browser back button. How to click on that? Simple. How to click on the browser back button? Driver dot navigate dot back command. Okay. By doing this, what I, what will happen? I'll come back to the same origin, same previous page where already my text is already there. I would like to clear this text. Let's see whether I can clear the text or not. I'll use the same web element text area field, which is already created dot clear. I'll say now run the code. It will be a bit fast, but see what's happening. Sorry, I just clicked on a wrong option. Let me stop that from running. Close. Let me run it again. I have to run it using Java because this is the main method. So let me run it using Java. Right click run as uh, why this is coming. Again, I selected that only. I wanted to remove that, but uh, unfortunately, I clicked on it. That's fine. Let me click this time. Let me right click run as Java application. Okay, my name got typed. I got navigated away to another page and came back. The text has not been cleared. And if I go and see in the output, I got which exception? Stale element reference exception. Once you navigate away from the page and come back to the page, this connection between the driver dot find element and this part will be gone. Text area field is no more connected to this object. Hence, this is the problem. Okay. So hope guys, uh, you understood what is stale element reference exception and uh, when does it occur, but how to handle it? How to handle this? Simple, very simple. Okay. It's very simple to handle it whenever Whenever you navigate away from the page and come back to the page before using this object reference to this text area field is equal to again assign this driver dot find element thing to this same object reference reassign it. Okay. You see, once you navigate it away and came back, the connection is lost again, set up the connection. This connection with this one, you set it up again. Once you set it up again, now the connection is there. Now it will work. Now run this, it will clear this time. Okay, I again click down one minute. Let me run it again. Right click, run as the obligation. You see, this time it will clear it out. First, it will type my name. My name will be typed. Navigate back, navigate forward back. You see, it got clear. That means, and this time, no stale element reference exception. So we have to reassign the object creation of the element to the web element again. Okay. Then it will work fine. Once you navigate away from the page and come back to the page again, you have to reassign it, reinitialize it. Okay. Reinitialize the object to the same thing. Then this is going to work. Otherwise you'll get stale element reference exception. So hope guys, you understood uh, what is stale element reference exception and uh, why does it occur? One of the case I covered, like when does it occur and how to handle it also I covered. Okay. What we have to do in order to handle it also. I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.